Alexis Curie. I am uh, Executive Vice President at Algorithmic. Uh, substance has actually become the, the, the standard uh, in the industry when it comes to uh, uh, material authoring and uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, PBR texturing. Uh, PBR stands for physically based rendering, uh, which is actually uh, the, the, the technique, the shading technique that has become the, the standard uh, in the last five years. Uh, and actually, uh, uh, substance uh, is really something that has spread like a wildfire uh, since the advent of uh, PBR in the industry, especially in games and film, but also in the product design, architecture, and anything actually uh, that really that needs. Uh, IN3. So the, the whole concept of substance is actually uh, uh, make uh, texturing fun again, I would say. Uh, for years, people have been using uh, old techniques to create their textures. Uh, most of the time it was extremely manual. It was a, a process that could take a long time because most of the tools were not dedicated to the task. And with substance, we really wanted to create uh, a software that would be uh, dedicated to texturing from scratch and native, natively uh, support uh, physically based rendering. There is today a fairly massive community, uh, more than 50,000 active users that are creating extraordinary materials uh, with Substance Designer, sometimes photorealistic, sometimes uh, very stylized, sometimes just materials that don't exist uh, for a sci-fi environment or just stuff that are purely uh, creative. Uh, we've seen in the last few years uh, very interesting moves. Uh, typically, the IN 3D techniques uh, were once uh, reserved to, I would say, a uh, feature film, feature animation, or three triple A games. Now times have changed, meaning that even small companies, uh, small studios, they want to actually create uh, art that is as good as what we can see uh, at the movie. And uh, not only for games and film, it's also about the architectural, uh, architectural rendering, uh, product design, uh, automotive, uh, medical simulation. So not only the visual fidelity is converging, but also the techniques that people have to use are converging as well. And this is where uh, art schools are actually extremely important. Because uh, the people that are trained, that are uh, being uh, taught in art school will actually be feeding every industry. Uh, of course, there is a, it's extremely inspirational uh, to target uh, film companies or game companies, but we see today uh, many other firms and actually in a much broader market, people needing uh, people with skills in 3D, in real-time rendering, in offline rendering, because this is how you actually increase productivity. Uh, you're, we're pretty much transitioning from uh, an analog world to a digital world. Everything needs to be created digitally. And if you think about the future, uh, such as AR, everything will need to be digital. So we're talking about a brand new internet. We're talking about having every object in real life having its digital version. And we're going to need so many artists to be able to produce this object. And we are really working towards uh, fulfilling the needs of tools that are productive enough to transform everything in digital. So at Allegorithmic, we've been investing a lot in uh, schools and education uh, in the last uh, three years. So many people are actually looking for uh, substance users, substance power users. Uh, we actually hear now uh, most of the time that uh, substance is a tool of the kids. Uh, meaning that uh, this is the next generation. And all these people that are coming on the market were about uh, 50,000 new students every year that are finishing school, going on the market. It's actually so important that uh, we make sure they know about substance, they know how to use it. Uh, and it's such a relief for the employers to know that they're gonna find people that can use our tool. That is a, a huge differentiator as well. Uh, meaning uh, have, being able to employ someone who already knows how to use the tool set, it's a huge time saver. And they know they're going to be able to leverage their skills and potentially train other people. Uh, recently, we, we, we decided to invest uh, all the schools uh, in New Zealand. 
Uh, of course, there is Weta Digital in New Zealand, which is you know, one of the, the most amazing places uh, to create VFX. Typically, what we would like to do in the future is organize uh, training sessions, workshops, maybe even, maybe even a substance day uh, in these regions, uh, because we believe being close to the community is extremely important. So we are looking forward to seeing uh, what the students at NMIT will come up with. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, to see them using Substance. We're really super excited to, uh, uh, to, uh, to work with, uh, with NMIT. And uh, hopefully uh, we can visit uh, New Zealand sometime uh, because uh, you know what, this is, this is pretty much uh, the most amazing places in the world.